So my little story, I've got a video I'm recapturing what I just said on Earth Cam. Uh, where to start? I've noticed a couple of uh, a couple of patterns. Uh, that is to see prior prior people <laughs> people that know about my website getting on the rug. When I talk about getting on the rug, I'm talking about getting on a female. Okay, so that you can fortify your appearance that you are committed to tool love but it's tool, tool love doffed uh, you haven't thought of follow through nor are you separated from the thief and two who would hand off to get toffed so I'm noticing that I'm noticing that in people uh, my latest place I noticed that uh, was with Matt at the gym, and Matt used to 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 be in Cirque du Soleil, and uh, I talked about Matt helping me uh, when I had a little shoulder injury after not working out for six months by working at Patton Tool. Uh, that I thought I could just step back into the gym and pick up where I left off, which is not the case. I had to dial down my weights and then I started to get some clicking in my shoulder. And I'm like, I'm not one of those dudes, meaning the dudes usually push too much weight and they get a shoulder injury. So I talked to my chiropractor and in passing I also talked to Matt. And um, Matt, uh, being a gymnast and using much of his upper body, uh, taught me many uh, ways to fortify the tendons and and to build uh, to build the structure support to be able to lift weight safely and he's he uh, he's very detail oriented he knows his bit and he's definitely willing to share information and uh, and I've commented on how Matt is a light that he's very uh, He's a very transparent person who's very enthusiastic about living life, and I would imagine giving it as well. And so I've I've met Matt by and by in in the gym, and we will have a conversation every once in a while, or we did. And Richard, the socialist who works in some money financial uh, business, uh, his coworkers call him a socialist. Uh, he's got, I guess black sheep views. <laughs> um, we will have a conversation and it stretches me because it's with people that are thinking from a different point of reference. Think of it as supplying a puzzle piece. And it's like, oh, I get what you're saying and I get you and it's stretching to encompass how does this fit even in this arrangement of a few people speaking at a square table <laughs> at the gym and um, let's see so I saw Matt today and the first thing he said to me is uh, he found someone and I thought that was different uh, I didn't know he was trying to find someone I didn't know he was trying not to find someone maybe he thinks that I'm trying not to find someone uh, why? Because Matt knows about my website. Uh, in our discussing of points of reference and ideas to fix the problems of society, I'm like, you need to start somewhere. I got a place to start, you know? So I told him about it, the gist of it, and I wrote the website down. And I've not had it really very many profound conversations with him since then and then one could say he went missing but he informed me he was on vacation and he met someone and so because he said he met someone it made me think back about I wouldn't have the need to reflect on this except that he said he found someone which is like why are you telling me that did I miss something did I miss something when, uh, you know, 
I was on a chest machine and you were on a chest machine and you finished before me and I'm like hey as I'm working out and then you get in front of me and then you teach me on good form and then you teach me on uh, coaching me through for maximum muscle failure after failure to create that scar tissue so the platelets will run rush in and and make the muscle stronger like totter not just like you could have strength but then you go like this you go <laughs> to make it to make, make it dense as it were <laughs> and then to talk to me about me about choreography and dance as intercourse and then to to as you're telling me that then you move in on me and put your and hug my solar plexus and and tell me that you know dance as intercourse is really just a way of trying to move into another person's space so obviously uh, my space is pretty easy to move into because <laughs> i'm open <laughs> I'm open. Uh, <laughs> he told me he found someone uh, with a clear heart. And, and I said, well, that's something to find someone with a clear heart. You can follow through <laughs> now, isn't it? And um, so he told me that. And I, I don't, I'm not at a loss. If I had an ego, I would think I was at a loss. And I'm not at, I don't know what to say, um, except that I don't think it's a clear heart. What else? I wrote my own note paper after that. I don't think it's a clear heart. I don't think it's a clear heart unless you are thinking T H parentheses R U E. The M parentheses E A R K T. We can put in that I don't think it's a clear heart unless you're thinking it through. Even t event the mark the mirror ear arc the night and the time for completion so maybe I'm missing something here uh, but I'm from what I'm sensing at my first blush of reading patterns is I'm seeing men with a clear heart and no follow through even getting on a rug any rug of any female to protect them civil lie I mean civilly <laughs> in the competitive competitive marketplace for no reason that they would commit apparently to tool love doft to get toft <laughs> for no reason so, I don't know. That's my latest as far as reading patterns. Uh, what else? <laughs> Should I save the napkin? <laughs> I could put a little... Oh. <laughs> this, that tossing, I, I, a fire starter fire starter <laughs> I don't know if fire starter is listening but fire starter is a musician I didn't know he was a musician I was working tickets <laughs> okay but there's some dude slapping his like this slapping his you know keeping the beat the imaginary beat he's all jacked up and I'm like that person has enthusiasm so I started slapping my leg too this is prior to the band playing and then I find out oh he's he, he is the band <laughs> he's not just in the band he is the band so 
Anyway, Firestarter wants to come over to my house afterwards. I put Firestarter on my couch and have a conversation with Firestarter. <laughs> I talk I talk about look, it's not my first time I met a guy in the band. Let me guess, you've got a woman at every porthole. <laughs> We find out that Firestarter actually has a girlfriend. <laughs> and you know what? Firestarter is a great kisser. All right. I couldn't commit to follow through for no reason. All right. But I will say as far as imagination lens, Firestarter is a great kisser. And I did not follow through. Uh, Firestarter started an idea for me to, to, to produce a linen napkin and do line drawings of Firestarter's image. I got off the internet googling his band's website. So I have his face, wearing a hat, wearing glasses, growing a little goatee, growing a little mustache, all these sort of permutations of style. And I got as far as putting every kind of pose with the same face <laughs> and was going to screen print it. And then I was going to do a video of selling these, like for Kickstarter. And I would eat some sloppy spaghetti, whew, and it just would be all over. And then I'd just take a Firestar napkin, Firestar napkin with him, his image on it, and go, <laughs> take some more, <laughs> just give it a toss, and then pick another one. <laughs> I think it would be very funny. Maybe I should still do that. Dude it. Should I still dude it? <laughs> Fire starter napkins. And it was all in in line with preserving natural resources. So I can be as sloppy as I want and just <laughs> Pick another one. <laughs> I could send them, I could sell them and send them to people in piles. <laughs> you could clean up your mess with fire starter, toss it, and there'd be another one right there for you. And, you, and I supply them so you know where to get them. 